Hey what is going on guys, it's CK here and today welcome finally to GTA Online PC or GTA 5 PC. Today what we're going to be doing is talking to you about the vehicle handling and just generally mucking around and having fun driving my new car, which is the Infernus. But right now, as you can see, we are at a very, very special place on the map because I have just realised this is the Fast and Furious 7 lookout point. Now, if you remember the bit in the trailer and in the movie where they all gather around, all seven or eight of them, they're actually standing in a row on this little bit right here with Los Angeles right behind them. I mean, there's so much flashbacks, so much memories of the movie just in this little bit. So, yeah, you would have like Vin Diesel and all of them and Paul, RIP to the legends, standing right next to us, but yeah, it's kind of a really, really cool alternative car meet area, so if you guys want me to hold like a car meet and stuff, uh, and just like a cruise, I'll try my best to do so in the coming weeks time. So anyway, this is my brand new car guys, it's just to basically celebrate the launch of the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 5. It is the Infernus now. I've never actually owned one of these online before. This is my custom version and essentially what the Infernus is, it's kind of like a Lamborghini Murcielago at the front and side and the doors obviously as well because it has Lembo doors and the back of it kind of resembles a Pagani Zonda like the, the first generation one and it has Pokeballs for rear lights. Yay yeah, you now, for the rear spoiler, I wanted to get like the standard one, but mine came without it, which kind of sucks, so I had to go with this one, so yeah, I love that exhaust layout though, but anyway, I just wanted to show you this little area guys, because it's really, really cool, so I can see a lot more people coming up here now for actual car meets, but yeah, the raccoon is looking swaggerlicious as always, so anyway, let's get to the driving. Really love the rims on this thing. Absolutely amazing the rims on this. The noise as well, I don't know if it's amped it up for like PC, but I'll let you guys hear it for a moment. Try not to crash it. <laughs> I'm trying to get to Bloomin, which got the straight bit of road so you guys can hear it. Sounds good. Sounds good, don't it? So yeah, uh, anyway guys, I'm going to be giving you my opinions on the actual improvements of the vehicle handling. Now, all I've got to say right now is Midnight Club LA much. Honestly, that's what it feels like is Midnight Club LA. Especially when you go into like the first person mode because when you're in this mode on like the consoles and in the 360 and PS3 and stuff, you feel like you're going to fall off of the road like at any time because it's really, really light in terms of like steering feel. But now they have added in some actual steering fuel, like made it a lot more heavier and I'm glad they did so because honest to god, it just feels like a Midnight Club LA clone because it's so good, it is so damn good, you can just stick the cars into any corner at any speed that takes your fancy and you'll be okay as long as you don't be an absolute tool about it and still use the brakes, you're gonna be good, you're gonna be really really good so yeah, in terms of like running and stuff on the PC, it's actually been okay. Um, obviously right now we're not getting the full 60 FPS because we're online and it never really does hit 60 FPS when you're online. The maximum, maximum I've had is 60 FPS but that's in like the garage and stuff when there's not much going on but yeah. When you're outside and that you're just standing still it normally goes to 60 FPS but for me the average run about 50 FPS so yeah, it's still running really, really smooth though, a lot smoother than the Xbox One 360 and oh my god, I love it for it, I really, really do like it. I've just noticed, <laughs> I've just noticed the gloves kind of look like Mickey Mouse gloves. Hey, hey, kids, it's Mickey Mouse, and that is the worst Mickey Mouse impression ever because it's the deepest voice Mickey Mouse ever. <laughs> goofy? Goofy? That's just the fucking Scooby-Doo. Shuggy? <laughs> but yeah, we're just doing a little cruise, guys, just enjoying the handling of this car. Now, I'm going to be doing a custom car episode of the Voltic for the next GTA 5 PC video, guys, because I've not ever owned one of them in GTA Online. I kind of want to because the acceleration in that thing is astronomically good. <laughs> That's the big word for me. Are you proud of me? Are you proud? But yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> can I look back there and then you're like, can bump the Crown Vic. 
Get out of my way, man. I'm in my Lambo, bitch. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I'm in Miami, bitch. No, I'm not. I'm in LA, bitch. <laughs> now, I actually rewatched the Top Gear with Aaron Paul was on it, and all I could think throughout was, Hey, bitch! <laughs> Jesse Pigman, bitch! <laughs> Because um, they've added season 21, I think it is, season 21, onto Netflix now, so it's the one with Alfred Romero Disco Volante, the 4C, uh, the one with the 80s hot hatchbacks and Jeremy's bright orange Volkswagen Golf. <laughs> but yeah, um, anyway, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was that, you know the song from Furious 7, See You Again, basically like the tribute song to Paul Walker. Now that is number one on the UK charts now guys and I'm so glad it is because I've listened to that song God knows how many times since the movie's come out. It's so good especially when like Chris, uh, I think it's Charlie Puth, his name is Charlie Puth and uh, especially when his part kicks in it's really really nice. I like Wiz Khalifa's rapping as well now. I've actually been talking to Spears in his comment section and stuff and he's, he's said that before in his videos as well that song's great to drive around to so if you're watching this man I completely completely agree with you so it's mental how good that song is so I'm trying to think where could we go I'm, just, I'm trying to think of a good place with like a good driving roads I think I know I think I know one I think I do man oh my god now I am loving GTA on PC guys I've got quite a lot of things like planned for it in terms of like series and stuff uh, I'm going to be doing some more collaborations. I do believe that Tomcat wants to do a collaboration with me, um, as I heard in his earlier video from today or last night, I think it was. Um, so yeah, if you're watching Tomcat, I'll be very, very happy to do a video with man. A hell of a lot of fun. A hell of a lot of fun. So Andy as well. I want to do some videos with him. So it's going to be great. It's going to be absolutely great. A whole lot of fun. Now, if you guys have got any ideas that you want me to do in terms of GTA on PC. Apart from mods, because I'm not too sure how long they're going to take to actually be released. I'm going to go now. Going to go now. Don't ram into me. <laughs> it's so much easier to move the camera around now, uh, especially with the analog sticks. I'm playing with a controller, by the way. I'm not playing uh, with the mouse and keyboard, so it's just more natural for me. Because I'm, I don't want to start a war, but I'm more of a console player, so I'm not a massive PC player, but I love PC bits. I love them to death. But I'm not a fanboy of anything. I like them both, man. I like them both. So I know that way's a dead end. So I think we're gonna hightail it back round. So damn smooth and freaking the cinematic cameras. Look how smooth it is! So nice. Well, that dropped massively when I said that there. God damn, but yeah. <laughs> Overall opinions and first impressions of GTA on PC. Rockstar, you have done it again. You have done it again. It is amazingly good. Love the graphics and the overall feel of the cars now is even better. So, I expect to see some more GTA 5 PC coverage coming more frequently on the channel now, guys. I know a lot of you are going to be happy with that because I know a lot of you have been saying, Do more GTA, do more GTA. So, I will be providing. So, as I said, guys, let me know what you want me to do. But for now, we're going to round off the episode. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then please do press down on that like button with your paws, claws, and anything else that you've got, and also subscribe today to become part of the EK Pack. So yeah, from me and In Fairness and the Raccoon, we're going to see you next time, guys. Peace!